Hi guys, <coughs> please welcome. <coughs> I'm trying to take some water, my voice is opening up. It has to be hot water, it is helping me a lot. And guys, we have to talk. Today, we are discussing this incident that our like a right thinking man sexually molests a mad woman on the streets in the estate what happens is that uh, this lady i've always seen her carrying a sack on the back and uh uh you know it i i think during her times she really used to know the word of god because what she does is uh She's carrying a sack with very, very, very heavy luggage. And um, she usually carries on her back, but she reach a point and she keeps the sack down. And she imagine, she just holds like her hands like this, you, like the way you would hold a microphone. But because she doesn't have a microphone and she has lost it, she just does like this. And she sings those nice uh, gospel songs of, uh, of the Bible. The ones that we know, she sings them. This lady is 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 used to be a good Christian before she went she went nuts. And I'm I'm here uh, imagining that she must have been born again. Whatever happened happened, but she must have been born again because she really sings and sings nice songs. So she may sing there for hours, holding her hands. This is a lady I've always seen. She lives near where I I stay, and um. She'll sing and sing and she closes her eyes, singing, 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 singing. And then after that, she'll take her sack and carry and, and, and go to some uh, flower, you know, the flowers that they, they plant by the roadside. Um, and, and enter there in the flower yard and put her sack there and she'll sit down. Then she, she'll start murmuring to herself, talking. In fact, there was a time it started raining. And I passed by, because this lady, I'm talking of a lady who just stays near where I live. And uh, she was being rained on there while still singing. And the rain was dropping, but still singing. Guys, I, the devil must be a bad person because uh, I believe some sicknesses are, no, not some, all sicknesses are of the devil. Because this is a lady who, who, who to me, loved God when she was sin. And whatever happened, happened to her. And she got mad. There are many things that happen to people when they, they go mad. You, you hear there is a family member who have bewitched them. <clears throat> you don't always hear these things. But there is also the mental uh, sickness uh, side of it. A, a, a brain is just like an arm or any other part of the body. It can, it's like a chest, it's like a leg. So you can have some sickness in the head because it is also part of the body. Just the way you would have some sickness with, with the chest. Like now I lost my voice because I had some sickness on the throat. That is why I'm keeping on taking this hot water. So sickness may come, not even because of bewitching like people say, and um, it affects the brain and there you go nuts. So guys, this lady, I've seen her for many years, wearing very dirty clothes, but singing all the time for the Lord. Singing very nicely. But then she'll later retire at the flower bed and spend the night there. <laughs> guys, have you subscribed to this channel? What are you still waiting for? Please subscribe to this channel. This is a channel where we discuss issues of life. And... It is very important that we discuss these issues because they are happening to our families out there, to our people out there, and we are people. So we have to discuss issues of life. Guys, why I knew this lady was molested is because I was uh, driving out and I found a crowd of people standing near where she puts her, her bags. And I was like, I slowed down. What is happening here? There was a small traffic jam. It is in the estate, by the way. I'm talking about the estate. 
So it was easy for me to slow down and I checked. I thought it is that lady who was singing because uh, there were uh, quite a number of people there. So I, I, I pulled, I pulled the, the up uh, on the side of the road and I was like, what is happening? What has happened to the lady? Because this lady, there are times that we even go giving her something. You can buy some fruits and you, you, you see her there and you, we like her because she, she likes singing uh, songs, gospel songs. So, and she's very talkative. Imagine when you are talking to her, you not even know that she's, she's lost it. Okay, when you fight her singing, you'll not know that she's lost it. But when she finishes singing, she starts talking to herself. So that is the time you'll know she's not well. So guys, uh, sometimes we even give her clothes. Uh, if you could be having a dress, you pass, put it in a paper bag and you pass there. Then you call her, auntie, take this. And then you drive home. I've done that myself before. And I, I later saw her wearing that dress. So guys, <laughs> when I pulled up, I realized that uh, uh, the lady was there like uh, she couldn't. You know, she's, she's not, so she cannot explain her case very well. But there was a, an elder lady who, who was holding her shoulder and she was uh, telling the lady, now even in her madness, what they did to, they did to, to her in the night. And because there was blood, because there was blood, this lady was very concerned. This elderly lady who was talking to her, she was very concerned and she said to us, they raped her. They raped her in the, in the night. She is unable to even walk. So people are making arrangements on, on, on how they, they will now help her. Because this is now, I think she was damaged badly because there was blood. And you know when it comes to blood and she's saying what she was done, you can imagine she was hurt maybe from both sides. And um, that elderly lady was saying, um, I don't know how we can organize, we take her to hospital. And now these other ladies were debating and saying, but you see, she's mad. In hospital, they will not accept her. She's very dirty. And you know, <laughs> the hospital that is here is uh, those up country, uh, uh, that up country hospital. <clears throat> so the people were fearing that she may not be admitted there because she's already, you know, she cannot, you know, be put in a, in a bed and, and, and be told to settle there and she settles. She'll wake up and start walking because she's, she's gone nuts. So guys, people are debating and trying to see how they can help her. So somebody said, okay, we can take her to Madare Hospital, but we cannot leave her here. And now because she was in pain, by the way, she was in pain. So we had to agree that uh, we, 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 we try and source a vehicle and um, that elderly lady, uh, the, she enters the vehicle with, with her, they go to Madare Hospital. The Madare Hospital is this, uh, it's a psychiatric hospital in Kenya. I think it is the topmost uh, government hospital. Where people with such issues um, are taken. Imagine this lady was not even at like refusing. She was in so much pain. She was in so much pain and we are used to seeing her singing, closing her eyes and very jovial. She was saying, what many you miss her? What many you miss her? What many you miss her? And she could almost show people where they, they, she was hurt. So guys, I'm here discussing this, this group of men, because she's saying Nwengi, the, there are many who did this to her. This group of men who went looking around in the night, and they decided to molest this, to rape this woman, a mad woman on the streets. Sure, guys, have you heard of this? Yes, I've heard of uh, these things in town, in the city center. I hear they happen to the street girls at night. The street boys rape them in the night. But that is now a different uh, situation in town because there are many people who opt to go to the streets and in their capacity, they are not, they are okay in their heads. So they decide on their own that I want to go and live the street life. And they, so they know how they survive there. But this case is a case of a sick, a mentally sick lady 
who is very sick, guys, and some sane men sat down and said, this evening we are going to do this and that to that lady who sleeps in the in the flower in the in the garden there. And they went ahead and, and injured her very badly, guys. <laughs> what is, it, I don't even have words. I don't have words. Because I'm here thinking this man could even be sick. Because when they, they, they go doing this thing to this dirty woman, they cannot be clean people. They may have been sick. So with their sicknesses, they come in and injure a sick person who is already sick mentally. They come and injure her by raping her and then they add another disease to her. Because I don't see like a sane person can do that to a sick, a sick person. This is sickness, guys. This is a... A psychiatric case it is sickness hmm? the brain can be can get sick so guys <laughs> go to the comment section and 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 and, and let's, let's let's talk has it ever happened to a place to a person that you know have you ever heard of such a case how would you have assisted if it were you would you have passed by on seeing somebody that you have always seen uh, seeing somewhere though you already know that she's nuts and you, when you see other people trying to help her it, it would not be good that's why I pulled down and guys I say let me come and discuss this here this is a channel where we discuss issues of life and um, curse these people because they don't deserve to be called humans those that can do that to a, to a psychiatric case like that one. <laughs> it's very unfortunate, guys. It's very, very unfortunate. May God have mercy <clears throat> upon that lady and upon those molesters so that they get to fear God because they will not go far. They will not go far. Let them know that there is God in heaven and they will not go far if they continue doing these things to, to women out there, even the ones that are sick in the head. Guys, please like and subscribe to this channel. This is a channel where we discuss issues of life. And this is an issue of life, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.